Hello, I hope that you all are well in the Lord. I'm going to turn my water off. I want to introduce you all to a new series, and it is called No Makeup Mondays. No Makeup Mondays, where we just have a girl talk. So, y'all, I'm so, so excited about a lot of things that the Lord is doing. So, let me just, let me just talk about um, what No Makeup Mondays mean. So, I'm coming to you recorded from the bathroom and the bathroom is a place of intimacy is a place of cleansing is a place of purity and it's also a place of secrets okay so we're gonna be coming it's gonna be i'm doing it live now but it's gonna be recorded by the time you get it because it airs on mondays so y'all I had to really, really pray about this because I have to make sure and I've come to learn that just because the Lord speaks to me about something doesn't mean that it's a word for everybody. So we're just going to have no makeup Mondays, which actually means that I am I'm going to be cleaning my face and just doing girl stuff. So I've come to realize that just because the Lord speaks to me about something doesn't mean that he's speaking to the entire body about it okay and so um the lord has been dealing with me about preparing for my king all right he's been dealing with me about preparing for my king and so i prayed about it and i was like well lord you keep bringing this up i want to make sure that this is like really you speaking to me and telling me these things and so the lord um took me to the book of Esther. It's actually Esther chapter 2 where the Lord dealt with me about um, preparing and how Esther prepared for the king. So you all, you may not be familiar with the story of Esther. I'm not going to get into all of this. So let me tell y'all what I'm doing. Of course, I'm using my Mary Kay and I am using the, um, this is normal to oily because it's summertime and my skin usually absorbs or not absorbs, but produces more oil during the summer. And I also put my rose hip oil on my face. So that's, this is the soap that I just used. I know y'all might cringe when, but this is soap. This is by Heaven of Joy. And it is, um, I do not have my glasses on. It's the honey oatmeal soap, y'all. Let me tell y'all, we're gonna talk about this. The Lord has been teaching me so many things, but I put it on my, forehead because it has a tendency to get dry um and it's all natural so it's really good it has oatmeal is the first ingredient in it and then it has honey it has um sunflower oil and i think it's another oil i have to read it um to you before i get off the before i get off of this so anyway that was um i was using my mary Kay, and it, you can tell if it's for oily or dry season based on the color and I always use the color purple and so I just cleanse my face and I wash my face uh, cleanse my face with my Mary Kay and also the honey oatmeal soap for my forehead to get those dry patches up there and so I just rinse with rinse with water and so um excuse me <laughs> and so I'm just gonna just dry this off but anyway, so the Lord has been dealing with, me, dealing with me about making sure I take care of those secret places, all right? And he's talking about physically too, like the secret places, those places that no one sees, like your elbows, behind your ears, your kneecaps, your inner thighs, your skin, okay? Of course, your face, we... we take care of our routines with our face, but the Lord has been dealing, your heels, your hands. The Lord has been dealing with me for some time, probably last Thanksgiving or Christmas. That's when the Lord started dealing with me really, really heavily about taking care of the parts of my body that nobody sees. I've been sharing this with my mom. And I said, mom, my hands look so wrinkly. She said, it's because you don't take care of your hands and you don't take care of your neck like you do your face, so it gets neglected, okay? And so the Lord was dealing with me about, um, I think I put my oil on first. So I put my oil on, um, and y'all, this is my brand. 
and it's Evolution of a Woman Rose Hill Seed Oil. I'm not even I'm not even doing an advertisement. Let me just tell you, this is it works. That's all I'm gonna say. And so, um, and so the Lord started dealing with me about these secret parts, and I shared it with my mom, and she was like, It's because you don't you don't take care of those areas. And if y'all notice, I did not wash my neck just then. You see that? See how you have to do course correction. So let me go back and get this neck. So anyway, and so the Lord started dealing with me about that. And basically telling me that I need to start dealing with the parts of my body that nobody sees. Like you're preparing for marriage. And so the Lord reminded, reminded me like that is what Esther did. Esther prepared for marriage. Of course, it was um, it was custom because we know what happened to Vashti. Vashti was, was, she was dethroned. And so there was a query that went out for all the virgins. Um... For all the virgins to try out for um you know their position in the throne it's in Esther chapter two so I'm not doing like a Bible study on it for for you scholars like she ain't even telling the story right we have a girl talk you know what I mean you want to do a Bible study just open up your Bible Esther chapter two and do a Bible study I've not already studied the Bible but um, um but anyway let me get back to the story so um. So the Lord started dealing with me about that. He was like, when you meet this man and he proposed to you, look how your hands looking. Your hands all crusty. You hadn't even hadn't even taken care of your hands over the, over the months. Look at you. Look at you. Your heels. You got to be ready. You can't get ready when the man show up. You got to be ready. And so I was like, okay, Lord. That's what Esther did. Before she had her night with the king, she went through 12 months of uh, purification, cleansing, went through this whole routine with myrrh and these perfumes and they got her body all together. Of course, y'all, they probably were in the desert. So you already know what that was like. How many of y'all been in the desert? You got to get that body right, okay? And the Lord began to say, as you get your body right, as you get your body right, he's going to start dealing with you about your spirit. Because when you start dealing with those secret places, I probably already did this. I probably already did this. But see how I'm rubbing my neck, making sure that neck. I'm 52. I'm 52. And the Lord has blessed me. He purifies the meat with salvation. Be I'm sorry. Beautifies the meat with salvation. But you got to do something to help yourself too now. Okay. So that's that. That's my routine. And so the Lord began to deal with me about my hands. So guess what? I found this collagen. If collagen is if if collagen is good enough for the face, it's good enough for the hands. So I've been using this y'all for a couple of months now, and when I tell you, my hands look amazing. So when he pull out that bling bling, I'm gonna be red. I'm gonna be like, <laughs> you got to enjoy. You got to enjoy this life. You got to laugh some. And guess what? Now, I need to do better with my elbows. I've been neglecting my elbows. I've been neglecting it. How am I going on vacation? How am I going on vacation with the rest of the elbow? You got to be ready. You have to be ready. So, the next thing, and y'all, you can also use this on your feet. Now, let me tell y'all something. I've been using this. I've been bathing with this soap. Let me show you what it looks like. It's Heaven of Joy. They have their own website. It's uh, wet. I'm in the bathroom. They have their own website, and I'm not trying to promote them, but it is what it is. They have a really, really great product. Y'all, let me tell you, you use this, it exfoliates your body, like literally. It gets, it, and it goes through a process because when I first started using it, I was like, this ain't, I don't see no, I don't see no effects. I kept using it. Y'all, it exfoliates that dead skin off of your body. It literally revitalizes your skin. I am not joking. It literally, y'all, I don't even have to. I choose not to. I've been choosing. I've been choosing not to get a pedicure because I wash my entire body with this and I wash my feet with it. Y'all, it gets rid of that, that dead skin. Your feet look so good. I am not making this up. So, um, Felisa has been going through her own purification and cleansing process, 
And in the midst of it, the Lord has bring, been bringing about great deliverance within my own soul. So sister, I want to tell you, if you have not been preparing, oh, I forgot to tell y'all, then after I use my collagen, baby, you see that gold, it ain't, it don't have that gold seal for nothing. Listen, after I put, put the collagen on my hands, then I follow up, oh, I forgot one step. I follow up with this, with this, um, this is honey, this is a, um, it's honey lab. It's a five-in-one dry skin rescue, and it has five power honeys in it. So it has five different types of honeys in it. When I tell you, this is a game changer. I'm, I'm, y'all. I am so telling. I'm telling y'all, God is getting us ready. He don't want you to get ready when the man comes. He wants you to be ready. So, in addition to, I forgot this step. Holy Spirit, he's so sweet. He reminded me. So I also use my rose hip seed oil on my hands as well. You do all that? Mm-hmm. That man been waiting on me. That man been waiting on you. He he did the um uh, be satisfied. When he when when the Lord brings him his good thing, it, it, it needs to be a good thing. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so happy in the Lord. But anyway, so I put this on my hands, y'all, and it lasts, the moisture lasts all day long. You can do the same routine for your feet, but ladies, get prepared. You need to go through your own cleansing and purification process with your own body, okay? Get your body ready. Exercise. I fell off the wagon. But I got back on, okay? I fell off the wagon, but I got back on. The Bible says the race is not given to the swift nor to the strong, but to the one that endures to, to the end. So that is No Makeup Monday for today. I'm so excited. Um, This, this is going to be awesome. So I love you. I love you. I love you. Please make sure that you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to grow my page. Um, I just want to share all of the goodness of the Lord that the Lord has been teaching me. And whatever I can share with you, I want to share it. So now that's the tea. Make sure you go and spill it on somebody else.